Tonight, another case of coronavirus inside the White House, this time within Vice President Pence's inner circle. Pence's press secretary, Katie Miller, who's married to the president's top advisor, Stephen Miller, testing positive for the virus this morning after testing negative just yesterday. A White House official tells NBC News Miller was at the White House this morning and showed symptoms. President Trump today publicly revealing the news. She's a wonderful young woman. Uh, Katie, she tested uh, very good for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden today she tested positive. Uh, she hasn't come into contact with me. She spent some time with uh, the vice president. The revelation delaying Pence's departure to Iowa this morning as aides quickly traced Miller's recent contacts, with six staffers being removed from Air Force Two. A senior administration official says all six later tested negative and that Miller was not on the plane. A White House official says Miller was with the vice president just yesterday. It's part of her job to be right by his side. Pence tested negative for coronavirus this morning, part of new safety protocols here. The White House now has uh, initiated an effort that uh, the president and I not only will be tested every day, but I think everyone that comes into contact uh, with the president will be tested uh, uh, every day. That new precaution just put in place yesterday after one of the president's military valets who serves him lunch and Diet Cokes in the Oval Office tested positive. And President Trump, who's tested negative, says he was last in a room with a valet on Tuesday. The president says valets will now be wearing masks. Earlier today, President Trump visited with veterans, all older than 95, at the World War II Memorial. The president chose not to wear a mask, saying he stayed far away from them, and was later asked why White House staff are not wearing masks either. Well, they are. Uh, people, that, no, people that are serving me are. We have not the people. seen anyone wear a mask around you, sir. And on that point, NBC News has learned the White House is just now instituting new protocols requiring those who are close to the president throughout the day to wear face coverings. And an official here says essential staff who had contact with the aides who tested positive will still work in the White House, but be closely monitored. Lester?